family. Thanksgiving Mass for the blessings received and for the safe trip of Tom and Tim this coming Saturday offered by Tess, Santos, and family. Thanksgiving Mass for the blessings received offered by Pillar College High School Batch 71. Thanksgiving Mass for the wedding anniversary of Rosauro and Delia Rico offered by the family. Thanksgiving Mass for the graces and blessings received offered by Eugene Tubog and family. Thanksgiving Mass in honor to, of the infant Jesus of Prague, Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, for peace, love, mercy, and good health, guidance, and protection, and for the second gift of life of Edmund Fernandez, offered by Mr. and Mrs. Edmund Fernandez and children. Thanksgiving Mass for the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, offered by Armil and Claire. Mass offering to Ladirin del Pilar for the gift of life of Victoriano and Al Aludino family, offered by Mr. and Mrs. Zervin and Darlene Victoriano. Mass intention offered to the Holy Family for the speedy recovery of Gina Atilano and Sancho Luis Bernoy, offered by the family. Thanksgiving Mass for the blessings received, offered by Atilano family. Thanksgiving Mass in honor of La Virgen del Pilar, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the protection, good health, prosperity, graces, and blessings received, offered by Sherilyn Aduka. Thanksgiving Mass for the blessings received, offered by Nunez family, Munoz family. Thanksgiving Mass to Our Lady of the Pillar, to, Nuesa Sen to Senor Santo Nino, offered by May D. Thanksgiving Mass to Our Lady of the Pillar, offered by Baby Watton and family. Thanksgiving Mass to Nuestra Senora La Virgen del Pilar, Senor Nazareno, for the good health and graces received, offered by Maria Fe and children. Mass intention for Maria I.V. Alfaro, for good health and graces and guidance for my exam, offered by Maria I.V. Alfaro. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Fernando Family. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Basilio Family. Thanksgiving Mass for the graces and blessings received offered by Manantan and Arjona Family. Let us also include in our prayers the following souls. Hippolyta de Leon, offered by Maria Fe and wife and children. For the souls of Lorenzo Jr. and Floribel, Arturo Jr. and Leonila, Noriel and Noel, Tito and Hill, Fernando and Lourdes, and to all the souls in purgatory, offered by Noelinda. Estanisla Wi, Luisa Wi, Augusto Ferrer, Joseph and Ferrer, Baby Wi, and all souls in purgatory offered by Tong and Amy Wi. Alvin Martinez, Casanto Dieta, Guillermo Domingo Sr., Guillermo Domingo Jr., Edisa Domingo, Unborn Baby Angel, and all the souls in purgatory offered by Erlinda M. Martinez and family. Olivia Guillermo Jaime Rico, Rachel, Ismael, Melicia, Sev Silverio, and all the souls in purgatory offered by Erlinda Martinez. Thanksgiving Mass to La Virgen del Pilar, offered by Apple and Ray. For the souls of Alejandro Rodriguez, Victor Chu, Ezekiel Yahia, Edgar Gaganting, Subeda Rasul, offered by Apple and Ray. Nestor Salazar, Luis Salazar, Nestor Roldan, Baby Angel, Baby Daniel, Baby Shaina Rose, Baby Angelo, and other souls in purgatory offered by Caridad Cañete and family. Dioscoro y Marson, Julia Lombojon, Danilo, Marson, and all my relatives and friends and all the souls in purgatory offered by and Peregrino, Marson, and Peregrino family. Efren Raffles, Lucinia Raffles, Jeffrey 
de ese pulo offered by the family. Gloria Casabona, Rogelio, Regino Saavedra, Maxima Saavedra, Francisco Saavedra Jr., Pilar Saavedra, Rolando Saavedra, Julieta Saavedra, Margarito González, Marcelino González, offered by Zeni Saavedra. Lucito, Lisa, Cecilia, José, María, Paulina, Angel, Francisco Jr., Carmen, Francisco, Carmen, Francisco Sr., Enerlita, offered by Ramirez Family. Romeo Bejerano, on his 5th year death anniversary, offered by Bejerano Family. Lucia Grimaldo, and Natividad Halon, and all the souls in purgatory, offered by Rodrigo, Michelle, Grimaldo, and children. Romeo Filog Filogono, Ramona, Nika, Elia, Ella, Jose, Marie, and all the souls in purgatory, offered by Marcelita Medallo. Leo Vergilda Cristobal, offered by Mr. and Mrs. Mike Padaca and family. Edwina H. Solomon, offered by Aldrin Jude Solomon and Alwina Munoz. Senon and Alicia Mancao, Hok Tian and Conception Hau, offered by Hau family. Rogelio Tordil, offered by wife and children. Rodolfo Sev Zoveda Trinidad Nicolas Araneta Regine Kyle Francisco Olayan Anita Olayan Nicolas Lobato Lucila and Agapito Tech offered by Rachel Araneta Olayan and family Thanksgiving Mass in honor of our Lord Jesus Christ and Our Lady of the Pillar for all the blessings received offered by Suknet family. For the souls of Maria Cristina, Angela Bernabe, Numeriano Esmeralda Segundina Bernabe offered by John Michael Bernabe and family. Please all stand. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwells among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. Please be seated. For the souls of Alberto Villaflores Sr., Clara, Rodrigo, Joey, Ricardo de Mafilis, offered by Mr. and Mrs. July Villaflores and family. Beltran, Balsamo, Brando, Marlon, Severo Biton Sr., Silvia, Ludivina, Noemi, Bea, Aurelio, offered by July Villaflores and family. Daniel Dime, 
Emma Wilfredo Dante Felicita Corazon Escalo offered by Dime Family. For all the salts in purgatory offered by Jonathan, Jane, Jonathan Cole, and Rian Haley Wee. For the souls of presentation, Liliosa and Luz offered by the family. Loreto Manabal, Eduardo Fernandez, Angelica Fernandez, Su Susan De Lucas Fernandez, Victor Ibanez, and all the souls in purgatory offered by Mr. and Mrs. Edmund Fernandez. Efren Reyes, may his soul rest in peace, offered by Baby Reyes Chua. For the death anniversary of David R. Calapardo and all the souls in purgatory, offered by Jose Elmer Macapas and Nicolas Macapas Sr. Ricardo Anduca Sr., Geraldine Anduca, Andrea Villaverde, Geoffrey Anduca, Placida, Placida Aduca, offered by Cherilyn Aduca, Eusebio Watton, Francisca Watton, Sarah Watton, Rogelio de Padua, Hermogene Watton, offered by Eden Castro, offered by the family. For the soul of Leonila Fermin, offered by Materio Family. For the soul of Leonora Yap Velayo, offered by Joy Alegata and Family. Brothers and sisters, let us acclaim God and welcome our presider, Reverend Father Roy Galvez. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, can we greet one another? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, thank you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together, let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Glory to God in the highest. created the dignity of human nature and still more wonderfully restore it. Grant, we pray, that we may share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry. Together they shout for joy. For they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people. He redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sights of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in times past, God spoke in partial and various ways to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son, whom He made heir of all things, and through whom He created the universe, who is the refulgence of His glory the very imprint of his being, and who sustains all things by his mighty word. When he had accomplished purification from sins, he took his seat at the right hand of the majesty on high, as far superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, this day I have begotten you, or again, I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And again, when he leads the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all the angels of God worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to the Holy Ghost.
Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did not accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in His name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the Word became flesh, and made His dwelling among us. And we saw His glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace, because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son, God, who is at the Father's side, has revealed Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we usually hear this praise when we celebrate Christmas Day. It is the most wonderful time of the year. It is the most wonderful time of the year. But how can we say that this is the most wonderful time where in fact all of us are suffering now? brought by COVID-19 because of this pandemic. How can we say we are going to rejoice on this Christmas day? In fact, this is a very different one celebration from the past years. Nante gani na introduction di Father Roy, yaman na kanaton man greet to each other, one another. Merry Christmas. Ang sinda lang kita todo. Merry Christmas. While at other years, chine pa beso beso, chine pa kissing, chine pa shaking of hands. But aura do kita mga Koreano, mga Chino. Simply because we are struggling so much on how to survive in this pandemic time. But though we are struggling so much, though we are on this pandemic time, it 
doesn't hinder and stop us to rejoice because the one is coming in the beginning still he was with us he was with us and who is this Jesus Christ none other than Jesus Christ that's why if all these things are happening into our own lives into our whole world maskin chenyman pandemic It doesn't stop us to recognize who is truly the King, who is truly the Savior, who is truly God. For so, I would like to propose three things for our reflection on this day. Why we should rejoice, why we should celebrate Christmas Day. First, reason. Why we should celebrate? Why should we rejoice? Because Christmas Christmas is the feast of God's sending us a savior. Sending us a savior. God never fails to fulfill his promise to all of us that we would be saved. This is the first promise of God that all of us would be saved. That little child born in a manger was called to be the savior of the world. And indeed, he is the savior of the world. The only thing that we need to do in order for us to be saved is first to recognize Him as our Savior. The meaning of Christmas reminds us that each day in our life, we need a Savior in our life. We cannot save our own self. We cannot save by our own self. Rather, we need a savior a savior would always guide us would always free us from our sins especially in this time of pandemic wherein everyone is struggling to survive in our life and sometimes it is the best temptation for all of us that sin can enter into our world because everyone is struggling And sometimes, because of the struggles that we are facing, we are becoming selfish enough. We just become so self-centered. In fact, para ko sa paman niyo, man share di mi blessing, yo ganit tatormenta na di mi bida. Para ko sa paman niyo, man share el ko sa iyo chene. Todo kita tasupri aura. Igual igual ang kita aura ta supri. Sometimes because we look so much on the struggles in life, we cannot anymore see the presence of the savior in our life. We need a savior and we should be also a savior to each other. We should also be a savior to each other. We can save everyone by helping each one especially those less fortunate that is the first reason why we should celebrate why we should rejoice on this christmas day because first we need a savior and we have a savior now second is to be a savior to others second reason Why we should celebrate and rejoice Christmas Day is because Christmas, Christmas is the feast of God's sharing His love with us. God sharing His love with us. 
He sent His only Son through Mary in order for His Son to become human like us except sin. That's why Tawiyah kita sa prayer For God so loved the world, He gave us His only Son. El di atun Diyos tata por medyo del di suyo amor ya imbya kon el di suyo anak para kanaton por medyo del di suyo amor how beautiful it is to feel god's love into our lives by receiving jesus christ into our lives he is the only incarnate word became flesh and live within us in order for us to show His love. And therefore, love should be apparent into our life. El amor que debe taligatot present kanato na di atun vida. There is no room for bitterness. There is no room for hatred. There is no room for jealousy. How can we celebrate the most wonderful time in this year, the Christmas day, if we have if we have anger, hatred, jealousy and everything that hinders or that hinder us to love? In fact, God did not see us as sinful people. But He regarded His love for all of us. He showed His love for all of us because we need that. Necesita kita el amor del Dios por medyo con el disuyo anak. And therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, the second reason why we should celebrate Christmas is to feel God's love and share His love for others. Third reason why we should rejoice Christmas Day. Because Christmas is the feast of the Emmanuel. Which means God is living with us and within us. Debe este Christmas season puede kita mira. We can see and we can feel that God is within us. Debe puede este kita sinti na di atun vida, especially in spite and despite the struggles, the problems in our own lives, there is still God in our hearts. There is still God being reborn each day in our hearts. What is the use of celebrating Christmas if we don't feel, we don't see God's presence in our lives? Por eso ganit, aquí kita aura na misa because we want to feel God's presence into our own lives. Yes, but sometimes and most of the time, we sometimes or we neglect God's presence. We neglect His presence in our own lives because of too much focus on many attentions. In this Christmas, it reminds us that we should be bearers, bearers of God. Because His presence is with us. My dear brothers and sisters, once we have Jesus in our lives, it is easy for us to share Jesus to others. It is easy for us to show others that we have Jesus, who is our Savior, who is our Redeemer, who is our God. This is how to celebrate Christmas. First, to recognize Savior. 
Second, we need to feel God's love. And third, we need to feel His presence. Once we have these three things, we can be Savior to others by helping others. Second, we can love others because we feel God's love. And third, we can share Jesus to others because there is God in our life. How beautiful and to rejoice to celebrate Christmas in this time of pandemic. May God bless us all. Let us all together say the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. Invita kami kuno sa restodo. We kneel down for a moment. Please all stand. Let us continue. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this holy day, let us present our petitions to the Almighty Father who loves us as His children in His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, full of confidence let us all together pray. Lord, bless your people. Lord, bless your people. That the world in agony, torn by the vision and strife, may be filled with tidings of comfort and joy, we pray. Lord, bless your people. That the families throughout the world may become a dwelling place of your incarnate Son, Jesus, our Emmanuel, we pray. Lord, bless your people. That our religious and political leaders humble themselves as Jesus humbled himself and be responsible stewards of your people, we pray. Lord, bless your people. That the good news of your coming resound throughout the world so that people will hear the comforting words of hope and the promise of salvation, we pray. Lord, bless your people. That the Lord may welcome to the joy of paradise those who have gone ahead of us, we pray. Lord, bless your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, bless your people. Father, hear our prayers and make this Christmas celebration a moment of thanksgiving and great 
sharing. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Make acceptable, O Lord, our oblation on this solemn day when you manifested the reconciliation that makes us holy, pleasing in your sight and inaugurated for us the fullness of divine worship through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your spirit. We lift them up to you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in Him God made visible, we may be caught up through Him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness, make holy, therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Archbishop, and Moises, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For our Holy Communion, please form two lines in the center, one line at the farthermost left and right of the shrine. For those who are outside, please wait for our lay ministers and form one line. Again, we encourage everyone to please observe physical distancing and please receive the Holy Host using your hands. Thank you. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that just as the Savior of the world, born this day, is the author of divine generation for us, so may he be the giver even of immortality, who lives and reigns, forever and ever. Amen. Before El, final blessing, let us continue to pray together, El Oracio Imperata, all together. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people thus to find cures of for this disease and to stem its transmission. Right. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despite our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen.
Nuestra Señora la Virgen del Pilar. Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunzon. Pray for us. Saint Pope Pius X. Pray for us. Amen. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, El Normal Days got no after El Misa Jenny kita kissing of the Nino no so ara hindi ana kita sa siyempre ase kay na pandemic pa man kita no siguro LPD lang kami kon ustedes after El Misa you can spend uh, spend some moments aki na manger and then tali el di aton Señor Jesucristo as a little baby you can offer your prayers and you can Even greet him for a moment, especialmente el di su birthday este día, no? The birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. Again, thank you, Conoceres Todo. And can we clap our hands to thank Father Jomel, el di aton homelis este día. Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow your heads and before every prayer or uh, kindly say Amen or Amen. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of His Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious bird has illumined the most holy day, drive far from the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. May God, who will that the great joy of His Son's saving bird be announced to shepherds, By the angel, fill our, your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us now go and proclaim the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
Come on.